Hi everyone. So, currently, I am stuck in traffic, and it is not that fun, but, just want to go over a few things. So, firstly, there's this, um, this problem I have, and I'm terrible with dates. Absolutely horrible with dates. I can do the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday thing, and I, I have no problem with that, but, once you tell me it's the 13th that this is happening, or the 18th, I'll forget. And I won't have to pay any attention to it. I'll go, oh, it's Monday. And I'll end up and I'll end up going to the thing, whatever it is, a week before it actually happens. And this has happened twice now where I got the date wrong. So just let you know, don't tell me numbers. I'm going to forget. Which I guess makes sense because I'm terrible with birthdays too, remembering when it is. I can remember the month for the most part, or at least what season they're in. But you tell me the date and I have no idea whatsoever. So just to let you know don't tell me numbers on dates. Additionally, there's something called uh, a saying. It's called, you mad bro? Yeah? You mad? You mad? It's antagonistic, where uh, people are trying to get a rise out of you. They're trying to make you upset. So what they'll do is they'll say, you mad bro? And it comes from uh, 4chan, from my understanding, from the internet, things like that. And the last couple of weeks, I've noticed that it's ended up on the mainstream, where people are just saying it all the time, like, you mad bro? Uh, I've noticed it more so in internet games, although it does come from the internet, but a lot of people aren't saying it. Well, now people are saying it quite a bit, more than I'm used to, and it ended up coming from Jersey Shore, the, sh the television show, and I guess one of the characters, the guys there, has been saying it enough where it's now popular to say, you mad bro, and get people upset. So, again, I've known this for a couple, like, maybe like a year, maybe two years now. Because my friend says it all the time, and it got me terribly, terribly annoyed. But now, now, everyone will say it. Secondly, there is this term called epic. Uh, originally, my understanding of it, epic is awesome, and also epic fail, which means terribly, terribly awful. This term epic, I just noticed, has again hit another thing that's hit the mainstream. And this thing that hit the mainstream, I saw on like an advertisement, and it was for Parks Casino, and it was a saying, uh, you know, come for an epic time, something like that. So it's another one of those words that a lot of people weren't using it, but one of those memes that kind of just came around, M E M E, uh, where people are just now in saying it all the time is the mainstream. I'm kind of annoyed about that. But overall, the lesson is don't know too much because when it eventually hits the mainstream, you will be, it'll be fresh for you. And you'll be excited for it. And then when it goes on for about a year, you'll go, you'll be okay with that. Whereas if you know it uh, two years beforehand, everyone else, then you're going to be annoyed for it for three years total. So it's not worth it. Don't know that much. Be as ignorant as possible. So just a little bit. Just don't be too ignorant. A little bit of ignorance. Um, mostly I find this out with music, where people who were like, oh yeah, I knew that artist for years, I, I heard this song I, for a couple months before it was on the radio, and then when it was on the radio, they can't stand it. But, that was my two cents. I'll see you.